about that tolling that you had just mentioned. Sure. As you're aware, uh, there is going to be uh, a vote coming up connected to SeaTran uh, for the maintenance of the flight operation rail, cost, yeah. the operational cost of, of light rail. And there are a number of people who have uh, said that without that passage, the light rail piece of this project falls apart. Is A, is that true? And B, if the vote doesn't pass, uh, is there a plan B to get local money to for our share? Pay for that cost. Yeah. Well, as I understand it, the CTRAN board is deliberating the timing of the vote and right. even the shape right. of the voters um, that will support that operation and maintenance cost for the Washington side of the light rail operations. And I think, I don't know if I have this right, but it's something like two to three million dollars a year from what I had heard. So I would separate the issue of voting to pay for the operations uh, in that fashion um, from whether or not the project can succeed because this so is talking about the, operations. Can the project succeed without Without that, that vote being successful this year? Yes, you'd have to figure out another way to do it. In other words, the project can be built. It's how do we pay for the operations and what is the local contribution to pay for that operation? Right, so I'm asking basis. what would the plan B be? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think we're there yet. I do know that what the CTRAN board is thinking about is how do we get this done and what's the right timing and how does all of that fit together. The, the one thing that we talked about is what do you do, if you don't get the state revenue this year, what do you do? And in my mind, it, it does set us back a little bit as far as how we how how well our financial plan fits together. And it's really too soon to know what that means because one thing we'll look for is as we deliver the project and think about the delivery of the project, naturally you don't build five miles all at once under one contract. What we build first is the bridge, what we call the bridge and landings, the new structures and the connections to that so that you can get the traffic off of the bridges and then you have contracts on each side of the river that are being built but always keeping traffic moving and that's the trick in major interstate reconstruction is you have to do this in a way that you can keep your commerce and your your commuters moving so how much do you need for that first contract what is your financial plan and how does it fit together what kind of revenues can you bring to support that that's the first thing that we'll be looking at are these, these segments of capital construction financial plans. And does the state money need to come first or a little bit now and a little bit more next year? And how does that all fit together is really what we have to do on any major financial. Uh, but delivery. don't you think there should be a plan B if this Oh, I think there's going to have to be one. But don't you think we, somebody should have been talking about I that I think there already? are people talking about that now. I'm just not privy to that. Oh, we don't know. I think it's a local contribution to the O and M of the light rail, and I know there are folks talking about it. Okay, so Mayor you, Levitt's very involved. Yes, he is. Uh huh. <laughs> so um, I just not, you know, I've been worrying about the folks up north. Okay. Who came to town? Okay. <laughs> who need great Thank you. attention? I've been worrying about getting tolling authority. So okay. one thing at a time.